Hi, my name is Amelia Earhart. I was born in Atchison, Kansas, July 24th, 1897. My dad's name is Edwin, and I had a younger sister named Muriel. We like to play baseball and other sports. We also like to catch frogs and insects. I learned how to shoot a 22 rifle and use it to kill mice with, and use it to kill mice in my dad's barn. With the help of my sister and uncle, I made a roller coaster. I was never. I attended school in the Aug School in Pennsylvania and studied medicine. Then I stopped and left to be a nurse in World War I. I was never really interested in flying until my first air show in 1920, I, which led me to take flying lessons. Eventually, I had enough money to buy, to buy my own airplane. I was the first lady to be a pilot. I, went, I flew to the Atlantic Ocean and with co-pilot Bill and co-pilot son. And I was, a, I was a navigator on the flight on June 18, 1928. Was my, dreams, my dream for flying did not stop there. I wanted to be the first one to fly solo to the Atlantic Ocean by myself. My, my, my journey ended on May 20th. My dreams did not stop there. I wanted to fly solo around the world. I took off on June 1st, 19, 1920, 1937. I wasn't, I, but sadly on July 2nd, 1937, my plane disappeared over the Pacific Ocean. Still today, they have not found my airplane. Hi, I am Lori Ingalls Wilder. I was born on February 7th, 1867, in Wisconsin, to my parents, Charles and Caroline Ingalls. I have three sisters. My oldest sister is Mary. My younger sisters were Karen and Grace. When I was four, I went to school at Berry Corner School, feeding chickens, cows, and walking the horses were my daily chores. When I was 16, I became a teacher in a one-room schoolhouse. I got married to Almanzo Wilder. A couple of years later, we had a baby girl named Rose. Two years later, we had a baby boy, but he died at 12 days old. That was a hard time in my life. Later, I raised leghorn hens for the family for the eggs. When my daughter grew up, she asked me to write a book about my childhood. My first book, Little House in the Big Woods, was published in 1932. All of a sudden, I became famous. I wrote seven more books. I died on February 10th, 1957, at 90 years old, three days after my birthday. Even after my death, people around the world still read my books today. I am a Hall of Fame coach that liked to school, school as a kid. Do you, know, do you know who I am? Hi, my name is Billy Dean Snyder. You probably know me as Coach Snyder or Bill Snyder. I was born October 7th, 1939 in St. Joseph, Missouri. As a kid, I liked to go with my grandpa to the firehouse and slide down the fire pole. When I was seven, my parents divorced and I lived with my mom, Marionetta, in a one-room apartment. And it was always clean, but I did not take school very seriously. I graduated in 1957 from high school. I failed my sem first semester of college at the University of Missouri. Next, I went to a junior college and I corrected my grades and I was able to play football at William Jewell College. I coached football at states such as Iowa, California, and Texas. I even coached swimming for a time. Shortly after coaching at Iowa, I went to go and coach case at K-State, but many people told me not to because of the worst team in history. But with the hard work ethic that my mom taught me, it was a, I was able to turn the worst team in history to one of the best in the nation. While I coached at K-State, we won 215 games, lost 115, and only had one tie. We participated in 19 bowl games, won nine, and lost 10. After the 2018 season, we, I retired for my second time, and I am enjoying time with my family. Hi, my name is Walt Disney. I was born 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. My parents named her Ellis and Flora. My brothers named her Herbert, Raymond, and Roy. And my, I have one sister, Ruth. I wanted to join World War I, but I was too young, so I went to the Red Cross in France. 
1928, I made a short movie. I loved drawing, and I loved drawing and made my most famous cartoon character, Mickey Mouse. Later, I created more characters like Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse, and many more. I was so creative and ideas floating around in my head. I moved to Hollywood, California. I started with one of my biggest dreams to build a theme park. I created Disneyland soon after I started making plans for Disney World and Flora, but sadly I died before it opened. I was all also famous for making many, many movies like Mary Poppins, Snow White, and many more. Hi, my name is George Washington. I was born February 2nd, 1732. I died December 14th, 1799, at the age of 67. My parents were Mary Paul and Augustine Washington. I went to school in Fredericksburg for a short time. I worked as a general of the American Revolution. The most challenging things I did was to learn how to be the first president and leader of the United States. I was brave, serious, and had a bad temper. And I am best known for being the first president of the United States. Hello, my name is Elvis Presley. I was born on January 8, 1935 in Tulupio, Mississippi. My parents are Gladys and Vernon Ven Presley. When I was young, I had a great singing voice. And at the age 10, I got my first guitar. Shortly after when my parents moved to Memphis, Tennessee, in Memphis I heard all different kinds of music. I tried to, to play a song for my mom, but the producer didn't like it. On a break from singing, I played That's Alright, my own way. Three days later, it was on the radio. In 1955, I signed my record deal that helped Heartbreak Hotel became my number one hit. I became famous for my songs and my dance moves. I had many number hits in my career. I died on August 16, 1977, due of heart failure. My music is still playing today. Okay. Hello. My name is Helen Adams Keller, but you may know me better as Helen Keller. I was born in Scumbia, Alabama, June 27, 1880. When I was a little over a year old, I became sick with a high fever and a headache for a few days. I lost my sight and hearing because of this terrible sickness. Soon my parents called Dr. Perkins Institute for the Blind in Boston. Dr. Perkins sent Annie Sullivan as a teacher to try to work with me. This became a challenge for her because I was rather strong-willed. My mother and father had simply let me have anything I wanted and had not tried to teach me anything. But Annie knew she could teach me. Let me tell you some naughty things I did to her. Once I knocked out one of her front teeth from a fit I threw. I also locked her in a room and hid the key. I eventually learned to breathe, burrow, and talk with my hands. I became very successful in my college career. Bye, hope to see you soon. Hello, my name is Neil Armstrong. I was born on August 5th, 1930. My love for flying started when my father took me to an air show. From then on, I wanted to become a pilot. When I was 15, I got my pilot's license, and a few months later, got my degree in aerospace engineering. I joined the Navy and was a fighter pilot in the Korean War. I flew fighters from aircraft carriers. I applied to be Oh, and I was also a test pilot. I flew over 200 different types of planes. I applied to be an astronaut in September, September 1962. 
I was part of a group called the New Nine, or the second group of the nine NASA astronauts. My first trip to space was on the Gemini 8. After a few months, I boarded the Apollo 11 to head to the moon. There was one scary moment when I lost connection with Earth and had to pilot the spacecraft myself. After landing on the moon, I was the first man to get off, and that's how I got my nickname, First Man on the Moon. My footprint is still there. This was a big day for the space program. After retiring, I worked as a teacher in the University of Cincinnati. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shirley Temple. I'm a movie star. It all started when I was born April 23rd in California. My mom and dad were George and Gertrude. My mom wanted me to learn singing and dancing, so she got me lessons at a very early age. I was discovered when I was three, and I started dancing in movies with Bill Robinson, a famous tap dancer. Lots of people thought I was cute, and I was in a lot of movies before I was even 10 years old. When I was five, I started working for the Fox Company. They told people that I was really four. I had become famous soon, so I had to work really hard. Dolls were made that looked just like me. In fact, I met a president's wife. But when I grew up, I had to stop. People liked me more as a toddler actress than a grown-up actress. By the age of 11, I stopped being a, a famous actress and I became a regular child. I eventually fell in love and married Charles Black. If you go to the Fox studio, there's a statue of me in the studio lot. They even made a child's drink named after me called the Shirley Temple. I'm Thomas Edison. I was one of the world's greatest inventors. I was born February 11, 1847 in Milan, Ohio. But when I was seven, I moved to Michigan. My parents' names were Samuel and Nancy Edison. One day, I saved the son of the railroad station master from being run over by a train. Um, in 1876, I built a lab in Menlo Park. I invented more than 1,000 things. People called me the Wizard of Menlo Park. I invented many things, such as the telegraph, universal stock ticker, phonograph, alkaline storage batteries, and the kintograph. I am best known for inventing the light bulb. In 1878, I began research to create a lamp. By October, my experiments involved many different types of metal, including platinum. Platinum was very hard to work with, prone to being weakened by heating and oxygen tech. October 14th, 18... Wait, I created my light out of a type of metal called platina. October 14, 1878, I filed my first patent application for improvement in electric lights. This was the creation of the light bulb. I died October 18, 1931, when I was 84. We use the light bulb and many of my other inventions today. Hi, my name is Lou Canoe. My real name is Robert Craig Canoe. I was born October 17, 1938 in Brute, Montana. I was a real daredevil. I started jumping motorcycles in 1965. I joined the Army when I was younger. In fact, they found out I was too young to even be in the Army, so they sent me home. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for a living other than I knew I wanted excitement. I got married at a young age and figured I needed to settle down. I tried to be a hunting guide and many other things, but nothing was like being a daredevil. I, 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 168 jumps and only 19 crashes through my career. I, uh, um, I, I later died in, in, wait, 
I stop. I st uh, I wait. Um. I I let her. I when I start when I my body when I broke almost every bone in my body. My body finally said it was st st to st time to stop the jumps. I retired and focused on my anti-drug message for kids, and later died in t November 2007. Hi, my name is Mae Jamerson. I was born on October 17, 1956. I live in Dector, Alabama. I had two sisters and one brother. My brother was Charles Jamerson. Charles. My sisters were Dorothy and Ada. I graduated high school at the age of 16. I worked at a lot of places. I was a dancer, doctor, author, teacher, and an astronaut. I was best known for being the first black woman to space. I flew with other Japanese and American astronauts. And our goal was to do science experiments while in space. I soon slept the NASA program, but still study science today. Thank you. My name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born in February 12, 1809. My nickname was Honest Abe. I married Mary Cho Lincoln. I was the 16th president of the United States. I served during the Civil War. It was a hard fight, but we did it. I freed the, we, f we freed the slaves, and I died on April 15, 1865. Hi, I'm Sophie Germain. I was born at Rue St. Dennis, Paris, France, April 1st, 1776, during the Revolution. My family members' names are Ambrose and Marie plus Marie and Angelique. When I was a child, girls were not supposed to learn math, but I loved learning. I would sneak out of bed at night to do math, but my parents did not want me to. They tried everything to stop me, but nothing worked. When I got bigger, I knew I was good at math. I wanted to be heard, but no one would listen to a lady. So I used a man's name in order to have my work read. I was the only one who entered an answer to the Academy of Sciences once. At first, I was incorrect, but that didn't stop me. I kept working at it. I turned it in again, and this time I was right on my solution. People found out it was me and I man that was so smart with math. They paid attention to what I was saying math and realized women could be just as smart as men in math and science. I was best known for my knowledge of math and science and helping women becoming accepted into these areas. Later, I died on June 27, 1831. Bye for now. I have to catch up on some multiplication. Hi, I'm Paul Rivera. I was born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1734. I worked as a silversmith making bowls, dishes, and other things. My silversmith's work became very famous. I was also an American patriot. I did not want a king to rule America. I fought I thought we should be free. The Patriot, the other Patriots and I rebelled against the King and he sent the British Red Coast after us. I rode my horse warning the other Patriots that that the Red Coast were coming for them and the guns. I was caught by the British but did escape. This started the war for America to be free. 
I lasted eight years. I died in 1818. I will always be famous for my midnight ride. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, never missed and never will. Always aims and shoots to kill. Company pays his Buffalo Bill. Hi, my name is Buffalo Bill. The reason I got the name Buffalo Bill is because I was competing against three different people who wanted the name Buffalo Bill. I won because I circled the buffalo in a group and killed them all. Then, from then on, I was the one and the only Buffalo Bill. When I when I was a little boy, my four-year-old sister took care of me because my parents worked on the farm. One time I saw a horse and patted it on the flank, and luckily my sister came out and, re and got me out of the way before the horse kicked me. When I got older, I was a little bit of a rebel. I didn't always make the right decisions. Sometimes I skipped school. My parents weren't very happy about that. When I got older, I signed onto a wagon train that was heading for Fort Laramie. I am really famous for my Wild West show. I wanted people to know what the Wild West was like when I was younger, so I enlisted the Cowboys and the Indians to put on a show. I even had the famous sharpshooter Annie Oakley in my show. She was a great way to draw people into the show. Everyone loved that little sure shot, Annie. I died January 10th of kidney. 1917 of kidney failure, but my Wild West show still goes on today. Hi, my name is John F. Kennedy. I was born on May 29, 1917. My name was JFK. I had eight brothers and eight sisters. I went to school at Edward Devotion. I joined the U.S. Navy and was honorably discharged due to back problems. I married Jacqueline Lee Kennedy in 1953. I became the 35th president of the United States and served part of my term during the Cold War. This was a war between allies in the world. I died by an assassin's bullet in 1953 while riding in a parade. Ending my presidency after only two years, many people mourned my death. Hi, my name is Dwight D. Eisenhower. I was born in Texas. I moved to Abilene, Kansas. I had five brothers. We all had nicknames, Big Ike, Little Ike, and Ugly Ike. I liked the nickname Ike so much it stayed with me through my life. When I was just a boy, I liked sports, but I liked the military life even more. I went to West Point. I became the highest general you could become, a five-star general. I eventually became the Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces during World War II. I planted the invasion of Normandy that eventually helped win the war. When I was president of the U.S., I felt like we needed better highway systems, so I created the interstate highways that we still have here today. I felt like we needed better roads in case we were invaded. I did for a disease. Hello, I am Betsy Ross. I was born on January 1st, 1752 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I was number eight of 17 children. Now that's a lot of children. My parents are Samuel Griscom and Rebecca James. I left school when I was still a teenager. I got a job in Philadelphia as a seamstress. Soon I married John Ross, then Joseph Ashburn, and finally John Claypool. I got married three times, but all three husbands died of various causes. You re may remember that I was known for possibly selling the first American flag. Let me tell you how it happened. I sat next to George Washington and his wife, Martha, in church. We became very good friends. That is why he asked me to sew the American flag. I happily accepted. I also changed the six-pointed stars to five-pointed stars to make them easier to cut out and sew. I got finished by July 8th when the Declaration of Independence was, ready to, was read aloud in public for the first time. It is such an honor to be a piece of American history. Hi, I am Brock Bala. 
I was born on August 4th, 1961 in Hawaii. I love basketball. I was good at working to help the poor and all people. I never had any sons, but I had two daughters. I was the first African American president of the United States. Hi, I'm Mountain Hoshis. Have you tried a Hoshis bar? I'm the one you can thank for those delicious treats. I was born on September 13, 1857 in Pennsylvania. I came from a very poor family but became one of the richest people in the United States. I worked for a man je named Jehoseph, Joseph Way at a confessionary shop. That was a fancy name for a candy shop. I learned about candy making. I made all sorts of candy. I also made fudge, caramel, and chocolate, and peppermints. I like candy making so much, I knew what I would do for the rest of my life. When I was 19, I decided to open my own candy business. It did not go so well, so I had to close it down because I ran out of money. But that did not, but I did not give up. I tried again. I learned that chocolate was much tastier when milk was added to it. I started another candy business. This time I would mainly made, made milk chocolate, caramel, milk chocolate, and caramel. This time it was a huge success. I made lots of money. Soon, my Hershey's company grew into more than just a, a chocolate factory. Now there's a Hershey's theme park with roller coasters, water parks. It is a, it is a fun place for picnics. It is all based on my Hershey's chocolates. In fact, the whole Hershey's Pennsylvania is based on my Hershey's chocolates. Now you can think of me when you eat yummy Hershey's candy bar. My name is Molly Pitcher. Most people thought I was born on October 13, 1754. In Trenton, New Jersey, my parents were John and Gretchen Ludwig. I have three brothers. When I was a child, girls didn't go to school. I did chores on farms and I worked for another family. One time, I saved my family from sinking in the Delaware River by cutting the cloth cover over the wagon. In 1765, I took water to the soldiers fighting the British. I held water in a pitcher. The soldiers called Molly Pitcher. So that's how I got the name I was known for. Since I worked so hard during the war, I got paid 40 dollars a year for the rest of my life. Hi, my name is Jackie Robinson. I was born on January 13th, 1919. I am famous for being one of the first black professional baseball players ever. 
my mother's name is Millie, and my I married my wife Rachel. I have loved sports very much. However, my favorite sport is baseball. Ryan Tricky, manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers, he came up to me to, when I was playing in the Black Baseball League to ask me if I would play for his baseball team. Stowing bases was my specialty. I, I can be in any position and do it well. 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 Another reason that Brent Tricky came up to me that he knew that I can control my temper. Why do I have to control my temper, you ask? Being the first black professional, no, black, person to play in the majors was hard. A lot of people thought that a black man shouldn't play with white men. People yelled at me, threw things at me, threatened me, and my family and more. I broke the color barrier in sports professional sports for that black people could play professional sports today. I died in October 25th, 1972. I was 53 years old. Hi, my name is Joseph Parks. It was a long day of work when I decided that I would take the bus home. But as I came in, I realized how unfair it was that black women and men had to sit in the back where the seats were all ripped up and hard. But in, the f but in front, the seats were soft and not ripped up like ours were. So I det decided to take a seat in the front where I was not supposed to. Just then, a white man came on the bus and wanted my seat. I said no. I'm not moving. After several times of the bus driver trying to get me to stand, he finally called the police. When the police arrived, they arrested me and I had to pay a fine. I wanted to make a change in the law and make it equal for blacks and whites. Because of my arrest, Martin Luther King Jr. became involved and helped to organize the Montgomery bus boycott, which means black people all over Montgomery, Alabama decided to walk everywhere and not ride the bus. This showed the city they needed black people to ride to have customers and money. But because of Martin Luther King Jr. and me, we do not have to switch seats anymore. I always say you can tell a lot about a man's character if you see of his way of being jelly beans. Hi, I'm Ronald Reagan. I was the 40th president. I was born on February 6, 1911. I grew up in Illinois. When I finished college in 1932, many people were poor. It was hard to buy food and other things. I became an actor, then I became a governor. Lots of people liked me, so I ran for president of the United States. I was elected president in 1980. I put the first woman on Supreme Court. In 1982, I was shot. I joke that I forgot to duck. I got better. While I was in the White I went on being a good president. While I was in the White House, I had a jar of jelly beans in every room. I was a veteran in World War II. I got sick with Alzheimer and died when I was 93 years old. Hi, 
My name is Amelia Earhart. I was born on July 2nd, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. I loved to play and take adventures with my sister. My dad's name is Edwin Earhart. My dad became very strict when I was born. That didn't stop me from taking my adventures. Later in my life, I went to Hyde Park Academy. Eventually, I dropped out and studied to become a nurse. It was hard to take care of soldiers from World War I. I grew tired of taking care of wounded soldiers and it took toll on me. I had always dreamed of becoming a pilot and flying. It was at this time in my life that I met and married George P. Putnam. He supported me in my many flying dreams. When I decided I wanted to fly across the Atlantic, he supported me. I made it on my first flight and was so happy. I could not stop there. I wanted to be the first woman to fly solo around the world. When I decided that he supported me, I started preparing for this flight. That is when tragedy struck. I tried radioing for help. My co-pilot Fred Noonan and I crashed somewhere in the ocean. It, my, the search went on for many, many days, but sadly I was never found. Hello. Today I'm going to tell you some interesting facts about the life of me, Helen Keller. I'm blind, as some of you might know. I was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscuba, Alabama. My, my world was dark and scary. I had an a disease and the illness left me become and left me became blind. After a while, Annie Sullivan, who was also blind, moved in to help me communi to teach me how to communicate. My parents did not like Annie at first, but realized that she was a big help. I became an author and wrote a famous book called The Story of My Life. I traveled the world and gave my speeches. I love animals. They have always been a great source of my joy. I died on June 1st, 1968 in Westport, Connecticut. Hi, my name is Sharon Krista McCuff. I was born on September 2, 1948 in Boston, Massachusetts. I earned a bachelor's degree in 1970. I became a teacher in Concord High School in New Hampshire. The President of the United States wanted an ordinary teacher to go to space. So I applied for, for the position and was nominated by my state. I was one of the 11,000 applicants. I had to go through many examinations and questions about space flight. I found out I was chosen in July 19, 1985 that I was chosen. I spent one year training for the mission as a teacher. I was going to teach my class from the, sh from the space shuttle. And I worked on many lessons And finally, it was launch day. 
73 seconds after liftoff, my spacecraft exploded. All of us aboard died. The crash was due to failure with rubber O-rings and the cold temperature outside. After this tragedy, I have an award as president to a teacher for courage and excellence in education. Even after this tragedy, I'm still making an impact on students today.